Welcome to a new episode of Blockheart News. My name is Brenda Lucio Descarg and I'm founder of Blockheart, the local art portfolio where we represent 40 Latin American artists, which 30 are from Peru. Before telling you about our international news, let's first think outside the block. Los Kutov's art piece was painted with a police baton and sold for 3 million rubles. I've shared through our stories, Blockheart stories, this art piece, and I just find it fascinating. Two colors, a lot of brutality, a lot to communicate, and why I decided to pick this as uh, one of my top picks for this week, it's because it explains a lot about art in protest. Let's take a look to this piece. Using red paint on a white background, colors of the Belarusian flag, in order to depict Russian police brutality and dubbed Dubino piece, which means nightstick art. The contemporary artists in Belarus and across the border in Russia are depicting the growing protest movement against the autocratic leader Alexander Lukashenko, amid widespread allegations of election fraud and police brutality. Well, we do learn something new every single day. That du Dubino piece, nightstick art, just brand new to my vocabulary. And also remind you every single Sunday, Artsy Sundays with Rachel and Clark from New York City, we are going live on IGTV 6 p.m. Lima time, 7 p.m. New York City time. So feel free to join us and spread the word. This week's consolation prize goes to Damien Hurst. Why? What happened? Well, British artist wanted to swap any of his art pieces for the viral, the comedian, yes, Duct Tape Banana by Mauricio Catalan. And, well, Catalan obviously said no. Curator Francesco Bonami has created a consolation prize doing his own version for the artist. Let's take a look to this post. Hearst was so in love with Catalan's work, which went viral after the Italian trickster stuck it to his gallery's wall at Art Basel in Miami Beach in December with a $120,000 price tag. The former YBA enrolled the help of the creator Francesco Bonami. I was desperate to buy this artwork from Mauricio Catalan called Comedian because I love it so much. Hearst posted on Instagram. I asked my friend and curator Francesco Bonami to ask Mauricio if he had an AP, an artist proof, he could sell me or if he would make me a special one. I offered to swap it for anything of mine, but sadly he said no. For her artist, we got Sandra Cáceres Simons, multidisciplinary artist from Arequipa, Peru. Arequipa is a city located in the south of our beautiful country and is mostly known as the White City because of the Sierra. You got some tasks to figure that out. Her artistic practice is nourished by the research of pre-Hispanic and colonial textiles, by the Peruvian cultural traditions, by the observation of the interconnection between the human being and its natural environment, and also by several sciences. Plus, she was part of our first online exhibition, thanks to the call-up of Mia Collection, called Herencias Colaborativas, right next to six more Peruvian female artists. So let's discover more about this amazing multidisciplinary artist. Hola, mi nombre es Sandra Cáceres, soy artista, soy de Perú, y quiero contarles acerca de mi obra. Mi trabajo es una intersección entre el arte, la artesanía y la naturaleza que se nutre de la investigación de textiles prehispánicos, coloniales y de la investigación de ciencias ambientales. Nuestro planeta que se apoya en un equilibrio en el que cada ser tiene un lugar y existe por presencia del otro. Este es un equilibrio sutil que puede romperse. De esta manera reflexiono 
acerca del tiempo, del crecimiento, de la descomposición y la memoria en un ciclo continuo, naciendo así mi interés por explorar ideas acerca de la vida, del origen, de la evolución y examinando simultáneamente cuestiones sociales y culturales y observando la interacción entre hombre y entorno natural. Bueno, a través de mi laboratorio eh, artístico experimental es que simulo y analizo desde una perspectiva micro y macro. También lo que hago es explorar materiales orgánicos, como la alpaca, naturales y a veces reciclados en mis tejidos. Además del tejido, me desarrollo en otras disciplinas como es la fotografía, el collage, la pintura, el dibujo. Thank you very much, Sandra, for sharing about your art world to our followers. In case if you are interested to know more about the different art pieces that are available for purchase, just send a DM, drop a comment, or also write an email to contact at blog-art.com and we'll be pleased to assist you. Now, I'm going to turn and bring a new word about artivism. Yes, it's like activism, but it's with art, artivism. The definition, how I would call it, is art to activate the community, art to exhort. This, this expression, yes, like shaking someone's shoulder and transferring the power of art, I find it necessary, but I will explain you more about this right after this news. German activist art group, Pen Collectives. These are some of the objects that Pen Collective are selling on eBay. The 10 items on show include a spray can used by the German activist Irmela Menza Schramm. She has been spraying over Nazi graffiti for 30 years, the collective says. We bought these 10 objects from committed anti-fascists for 1,000 euros each. We have transferred, therefore, 10,000 euros taken from the exhibition project budget of 24,000 euros to the Antifa cause. To support left-wing organizations which will benefit the East German town of Chemnitz. I love that they used eBay. It's so anti-system. So, what do you think about this type of movements? What do you think about the term itself? I, I saw this term in a German magazine uh, called Panta Magazine, uh, but uh, because everything everything that they show and share is about like um, uh, culture, uh, even fashion, but with an with an artistic approach. That's why I I really really dig this term and about the the exhorting movement that I did before. It's because I literally I literally tried to inject and transfer that mindset about how powerful art is. Well guys, that was everything for this week's episode. I really hope that you enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes and well, what else? Keep safe, be a skeptic, question everything and think outside the block. <laughs>